Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. And holy crap, this episode may have been the single best episode of this season. If I weren't reviewing this show, and the past episodes had made me really question whether I would keep watching or not, this would be the episode that brought me back. See, this episode involves carnage, and shockingly enough, this show does the creepy character justice. Well, as much justice as one can do when it involves a character who is a mass murderer, so obviously some things can't be shown on television and aren't likely to happen, such as him slicing and dicing his way through people. He does use various weapon extensions of himself that Classic Carnage is known for, though, so that's a plus. Now, if I had one complaint, though, this would mark the second time this season alone the show has utilized elements of the comics they already utilized earlier in the show. For example, we got Kane's Scarlet Spider outfit because an earlier season had Flash wear the hoodie version already. And now, we're getting a more accurate to comic Carnage, despite Peter having been turned into Carnage either sometime in Season 2 or Season 3. Still, the writers perfectly nailed the psychotic traits of Carnage. Heck, while they were at it, we got multiple cool comic book easter eggs. First, we finally get to see Morbius in all his living vampire glory. Morbius and Ark are so weird! Flash even says it at one point in the episode. While well, this is certainly a more bat-centric design instead of his vampire one in the comics, it was still really great to see him transform. My only disappointment with the show's treatment of the character is that he's no longer sympathetic as he once was in the comics. There he was more of an anti-villain or anti-hero. He needed blood to survive and was always searching for a cure with the help of Spotty on occasion. Here he's always been a villain so I doubt that dynamic with Spotty will be explored like it was in the comics. And then the one that got me pretty excited or nostalgic really was when the Carnage symbiote took control of Doc Ock in a way really similar to the PlayStation Spider-Man title. Ock, oh, you look different. Trying some new skin cream? This was such a fun little throwback to a really classic Spider-Man game that I almost wonder if it maybe was just a coincidence. Either way, if you grew up with the title, you're sure to find some other similarities between that game's plot and its episodes. Namely, with the ending of the episode, as Carnage had blown up and subsequently infected what seems like a lot of New York, or at least the surrounding area. Let me tell you, that moment had me actually gaping and saying, no way. It was so awesome. And if there's one thing worse than an army of Venom soldiers, it's definitely Carnage ones. Now, as I said above, this was a great episode. An amazing one. Excuse the pun. It had some great writing as Flash struggled to get his Venom symbiote to listen to him, and Carnage was deliciously crazy. The jokes weren't grating to listen to, and it had some great action scenes to boot. Plus, it kicks off what I can only pray will be a good story arc with Carnage now infecting a host of civilians. I've been let down before with great starts, but awkward second parters though. So please, please Ultimate Spider-Man writers, don't let me down again. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, but Mary Jane actually appeared in this episode. I was just complaining about this, or at least I did in one of my reviews for Season 4. And is it just me, or does Mary Jane always look different each time she makes her reappearance in the show? I'm pretty sure she does, along with other characters too. Go look it up. I'm too lazy, but hey, she definitely does look cuter. And does it seem like there's some romantic tension between these two? Watch this scene and tell me if I'm crazy. You should really come visit Harry. And me. I will. First chance I get. It's been good to hear your voice. You have no idea. Did I miss an episode back in Season 3 where something happened between these two or what? If I did miss an episode, then it's out of nowhere and ultimately is one of my complaints about the show not focusing as much on Peter's life and just focusing on Spidey's. So, what did you think of this episode? Let me know in the comment section below, and I apologize for how late this review went up. 
Thanks for watching and take care.